We can now count down on the hours till the 2023 Arnold's Classics event. It is going to be a whopper of a matchup. And speaking of, here's William Bonac. He is incredible. William Bonac, former Arnold Classic champion, former last year's runner-up for this uh, title. Can he get it? Can he win the title? His prep pitchers look awesome. Look at how full he looks. Turn him to the side, and I don't see any weaknesses. In fact, I think his chest looks more bigger, more re- resembles more of a like an Arnold Schwarzenegger type chest than it ever has. Than it ever has. And from behind, I mean, William Bonac, his condition, his Latin insertions, things of that nature, has never been in question. He looks so good, but you know what? He looked so good heading into the Olympia too. And honestly, guys, I love William Bonac. One of my favorite bodybuilders, maybe of all time. Maybe of all time. Hard to really see how you how you perceive these guys while they're currently competing. After they retire, you really reflect on their careers. And William Bonac, he really is, is one of the great ones. He is. But you know what? I'm lukewarm about him heading into this event. I just think... His time has passed in the judge's mind. I mean, yeah, I think he can resemble what he did in his prime. But I just think the judges are also lukewarm about his uh, his placings, where they're going to place him. So, William Bonac, good luck, man. I hope he does. Hope he even wins the matchup, for goodness sakes. Can it happen? Well, maybe, uh, maybe back in 2019. But as of now, guys, it's looking for... Our it's looking like maybe a fifth fifth place finish for uh, Bonac, maybe even sixth. Who else is competing? Obviously, Samson Douda, one of the most popular, a rising star, and obviously the uh, on the opposite end of the spectrum of William Bonac. He's kind of beginning his career, made his Olympia debut last year, so it's going to be a good place, I believe, for Samson Douda, and he is looking huge, guys. He's looking massive. So, I mean, it's not a any stretch of the imagination to say that Samson could win. What does he need? What does he need to ultimately defeat everybody? Honestly, guys, if you're going to be nitpicky, you could throw on some more delt size. You could throw on some more delt separation, throw some lines in there. Of course, the tricep sweeps would get bigger, too. Bigger, too. Throw in a little bit more of a, a lat. And while we're here, add some more separation in those abs. Yes, yes. This Samson Delta would be unbeatable. But you know what? You know what else would look good on this Samson? A nice big stogie. A nice big cigar. Just like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Come on. Get to the chopper. And since, since he looks like Arnold with that cigar, we might as well throw a little bit more thickness. On those packs. Yes, yes, ladies and gentlemen, I believe that this Samson Douda here could defeat everybody, including that big cigar. Let him have it. Let him have it. Be good for his gimmick. But all seriousness, folks, to get back to more serious business, it has been, you know, said it's a, it's a weak point for Samson's glutes, things of that nature. But judging by these little prep clips, he looks drier. Than the desert Sahara. He looks drier than a popcorn fart, guys. Keep in mind, this is a weak point for Samson. Yeah, yeah, look out. Nick Walkers, Big Rammies, look out. Andrew Jacks, everybody. But speaking of Nick Walker, let's throw him on the chopping block. Let's have a look at his prep pitchers as of late. Because if we're going to be honest, on paper, Nick Walker doesn't have to change a gosh darn thing. Because he is in the lead, he placed third at the Olympia, and nobody that placed second and first is competing, so like I said, on paper, he is the champion. But you know what, if we are going to be nitpicky, we got our little pencil out here, you know what I would give Nick? I would give him a great big mountain man, a big mountain man beard, you know what I mean? One of those big mountain men, and I think Nick Walker could really pull that look off, you know, colored in gray. Yeah, and I know he's not old, but all the mountain men, they got big gray beards. What the heck, right? And what else do they have with them? A big jug of, what are they drinking, guys? What is it? It's moonshine. That's right. If Nick Walker, he pumps that moonshine into that blood system, 
He could get even drier. But does he need it? He already looks incredible. Look at those bicep peaks. They're like mountains. People are building little cabins on top of those mountains. Actually, I read the other day, one guy even leapt to his bloody death off the top of one of those peaks. He has caverns in that back. He has cliffs. There's refugees building cabins, houses. There's people living on that back. And I don't even want to get started on what's going on down there. We're going to have to have Donald Trump come in and just clean house. And obviously, that is exactly what happened. Look at this, guys. This is his rear lat spread. Maybe his weakest pose? This is this guy's like Arnold Schwarzenegger. He got criticized back in the, you know, the 60s, 70s. He has weak, some weak shots. He made those shots his strong points. And it looks like Nick Walker, he may very well win the rear lat spread of the night. Wow, is he dry and like I said, caverns and there was refugees living in there. They got them all cleaned out now and nothing but caves and caverns. So for those of you who have Nick Walker predicted as winning the Arnold Classic, it's looking good for you. It's looking good for you. Now I have him in second in my predictions. Why do I not have him winning? I think Big Rammy's going to win and this is a prep pitcher right before the Olympia. He actually looked pretty good. And most people are thinking Rami's going to place like fifth at the Arnold Classic. Why, oh why, Marks Max Muscle? Why do you have him in first? Well, he was posting prep videos, prep pictures up the yin yang prior to the Olympia. He looked great. And now we don't see anything but this. He posted a little video clip of him lifting up his leg. What was he doing? Releasing the thunder? Well, actually, that's the thing, guys. He was constipated, and I apologize for those of you getting something to eat. I'll try to keep this pretty clean, but you have to have some toilet humor as well, guys. Yeah, he was honestly constipated, guys, and that can really affect your performance. So I think this little video clip where he lifted his leg, I think that was to let his audience know that, yes, he was, in fact, and he is releasing the thunder. And could you imagine if he was able to pack on some Latin insertions thick? With a Christmas trees, baby, please. What the heck, guys? Sam Stells, he's going to have some bigger triceps. Might develop some pointy elbows. Kind of looks like that main bad guy from Mortal Kombat. Uh, Goro, remember? What the heck? Well, my, might as well give him a... Was it Goro? Give him a Goro haircut. I apologize if that wasn't his name. But I'm sure you guys know what I'm... Sing. But, I mean... If you're going to get serious about things... Man, it's pretty hard to get serious looking at this picture. Yeah, I honestly believe this, guys. Big Rammy, he was. He couldn't eat. Constipated, you can't eat. And when it comes time to prepping for the Olympia, you really need to pack that food away. And he was able to, you know, get some things done in the office, if, if <laughs> you guys hear what I'm saying. He was able to do his business. And the finals, you guys see that? Honestly, guys, if he, if he came in looking like this the first day, the prejudging, would he have placed fifth? Would he have even lost the Olympia? I believe, guys, I am a believer in Big Rammy. So, yeah, it might be a little light on the Latin insertions, but you could see from my artist's rendition that he did pack on some Latin insertions. Could have them pointy elbows. And I would like to see that little ponytail, too, come out of that bald chromius domius. Hit thumbs up on the video, guys. It is exciting. It is it's so exciting before these big events. Everybody has their predictions, their little predictions. Nick Walker, Nick Walker this, Nick Walker that. And as much as I do like the mutate, the mutant Nick Walker, I believe that there is still some winter left in Big Rammy's tank. Hit thumbs up on the video, guys. Can't wait till the Arnold Classic. Stay tuned. Uh, subscribe to the channel for sure. Because I will be keeping you guys up to date on the placings of the Arnold Classic and how these guys look heading into this event. Have a great one, guys.